family welcome once again to every one of you and god bless you all in jesus mighty name if you are coming back you are very much welcome if you're coming for the first time you're meeting with Chantal Ikabe, and always i'm coming to you with god's word the prophetic and also we do our prophetic prayers here mondays to friday 7 20 a.m mst that's gonna be denver colorado time or mountain time please you can feel free to go on and join us for these prayers every morning i believe they are definitely gonna bless you join us pray with us before you start your day let the blessings of god flow in your life here we always talk about the word and the holy spirit helps us he guides and he directs us in everything that we do so feel free to become a part of this family by subscribing become a member today i believe god is gonna bless you as you do so and also don't forget to turn on your notification bells when you do that god bless you abundantly and i love you i really appreciate you as well so today i'm gonna talk about fasting but first welcome to a new month it's a beautiful month it's a lovely month an amazing month and i'm so glad so grateful to god thank you jesus someone just take one second to say thank you jesus it's very important welcome to a new month and we are so grateful that god has brought us into a new time and a new season and i see you dominating in this season i see you taking over i see god's blessings pouring on you this new month it's gonna be different for you in the name of jesus the encounters the results all are going to be different in the name of Jesus amen hallelujah I want you to be expectant nothing should get you discouraged nothing should take away your hope keep trusting God and be expectant so um, I'm gonna talk about fasting if you are someone who loves fasting then hey you are in the right place but if you are someone who is contemplating about fasting maybe you're like why should I fast is it important to fast as a man of God or as a woman of God or is God calling me to to fast this video is for you i'm going to give you reasons why you should fast especially this month and every new month that you get into because it's very important and powerful you know you may not do it um you know at the beginning of every month but you can put some days or set some days aside just to fast and seek the face of the lord you're going to be amazed at how powerful this will be to you and how your life is going to change drastically i want to challenge you through this video to start fasting if, if you have not been doing so and start fasting the right way as well because that is the secret of receiving the right results fasting the right way so um let's talk about it right now one of the most powerful reasons why you should fast as a christian or a man of god or a woman of god especially this month is so that god can bring cleansing in your life in your family and in everything that concerns you child of god cleansing is very important as we continue to serve the lord daily and seek his face we can do without cleansing we can do without righteousness and when i talk of righteousness i'm not talking about self-righteousness but that which comes from the father standing right before god hallelujah we can never do that on our own it's only by the help of the holy spirit that's why i encourage you to fast because when you fast you are feeding or you are empowering the holy spirit on the inside of you and you are actually subduing this flesh that is what brother brings about cleansing cleansing comes when your spirit is empowered and when your flesh has been brought under subjection it is very very powerful fasting will make your flesh uncomfortable because the flesh desires so much that is not in line with God's will that you know things that are contrary to the will of the father so it's gonna always make your flesh become uncomfortable but that is why we are going to do it anyway that is the more reason you should do it because we want this flesh not to be comfortable in order for us to overcome in order for us to live life in order for us to continue to reign as children of god our flesh have to continually be under the subjection of the word of god the power of god and the holy spirit let the holy spirit reign through us hallelujah we have to 
to see the fruits coming from the Holy Spirit through us. And this can be achieved by fasting. For some of us who are having some addictions, you have some things that are so difficult to deal with, fasting is the solution. It's the answer. It has worked for me and I know it will work for you. There are times you can be lazy. I used to be lazy sometimes. But when I began to fast, I realized that my spirit was empowered. That is what fasting can do. It will empower your spirit and it also produces consistency in a man. So you have to fast. It's going to help cleanse you. David said in Psalms chapter 35, he said, I humbled myself with fasting and prayers. So fasting is going to bring us to a point of humility and that is a point of brokenness. At that point, you surrender all to God and all you do is ask God to have his way in your life. You just want to live a righteous life. You just want to live a life that is worthy before God. It's going to cause your light to shine. That is the outcome of cleansing in a man's life. Everything you do, let God cleanse it. Sometimes our prayers may be hindered because of little things, you know, some loopholes. But when we begin to fast and cleansing comes in, our lives are going to be in order and we are not going to be hindered by anything. Hallelujah. So the second thing I'm going to tell you about fasting is that it's going to empower your relationship with the Father. Fasting provokes or promotes closeness with God. That is the second reason why you should fast. It's going to help you to become very close to God. So if you want to draw closer to God, you want to have a very strong relationship with God, go on and begin to fast. It's really going to empower you. So the third point is empowerment. Closeness to God is a little bit different from being empowered. Why? Because when you are close to God in fasting, you know, it's like you're praying, you're fasting, you're praying, and you feel that closeness. You feel that beautiful relationship that deep relationship with the father that is closeness to god it brings you close to his word as well thereby bringing you close to him because him and his word are one but empowerment has to do with you being empowered to do what god has called you to do or to achieve certain results in life and in destiny sometimes you may be weak you may be down like i earlier said but when you get into fasting it you you are going to be empowered so empowered i tell you the truth fasting empowers us there are times you get to a point where you're so broken i'm gonna challenge you through this video to get into fasting when you start seeing that happening god will strengthen you again hallelujah you're gonna become strengthened and empowered and the fourth reason why you should fast is that fasting brings breakthrough fasting brings breakthrough when we fast we are open up to so many blessings from the father and you can find that in isaiah chapter 58 um i've been reading that but for those that are new i want you to go back and read it isaiah chapter 58 it talks about fasting i want you to start reading from verse 6 it's very powerful it says is this not the first that i have chosen to lose the bonds of wickedness to undo the heavy burdens to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke you know when these things are broken these things are destroyed these things that stand like limitations hindrances be for us the power of god will flow in our lives without any limitation anything hindering it anything stopping it and when that is the case i tell you the truth you are going to be open to so many breakthroughs jesus said this type cannot go except by fasting and prayers there are things that we have to fast that's why we've got to be sensitive in the spirit to know what god wants us to do and when he wants us to do the seasons that god wants us to fast the things that require for us to fast in order to achieve powerful results so so when we begin to fast, we give ourselves to fasting, blessings are going to flow naturally. Sometimes we will not even have to pray for these blessings, but they are just going to flow from the Father to us. It's beautiful, brethren. It's so beautiful. I encourage you to fast. If you're facing a very difficult situation, it's time to get into fasting. Fasting is going to undo, you know, the heavy burdens. Break those burdens. Hallelujah. Set the oppressed free. Release 
this the move of God Daniel was praying he waited on the Lord 21 days as well he was a man who lived a fasted life that was just his life he was living you know they call it the Daniel fast but that was his life he was living a life that was just fasting it was like just fasting enjoying the presence of God the Bible said that God came true for him we also found in the Bible um, a man called Nehemiah who fasted he went to God in Nehemiah chapter 1 because he knew he had to go back to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem so he went to seek the face of the Lord and the Bible said they were able to rebuild the walls in 52 days God granted them success they overcame they were victorious we can also see that in the life of Esther most of us know about Esther she was able to overcome find favor before the king by reason of fasting and prayers I'm gonna encourage you to do so once again and then another reason why you should fast why you serve the Lord that's gonna be number five is that fasting is gonna help you when it comes to divine direction fasting is very powerful if there's ever a time you are lost and you need God to guide you to direct you seek his face in the place of fasting when you're fasting you're very close to God like I said um I think that was the second point and when you are close to God you can hear the voice of the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit speaks to us because he's empowered when we fast so he speaks to us and him speaking to you is gonna be like divine direction for you ask God to give you divine direction when you fast I promise you you are going to receive it in the days of old when the people were confused and they didn't know what to do they will go to God humble themselves in fasting and prayers and they will also ask God to guide them to direct them on what to do and on how to do these things so the sixth point has to do with healing and you can still find that in Isaiah chapter 58 it says then your healing will spring forth speedily when you fast hallelujah fasting brings healing to the natural body oh hallelujah I feel someone receiving that healing right now in the name of Jesus fasting brings healing to the natural body you know the body enjoys when we keep eating and nourishing it but when you fast what happens is you are actually like I said empowering the spirit when you empower your spirit man it is from the spirit man that we receive life it is from the spirit man that we receive healing it's not from the food that we eat daily in as much as the food is very important the Bible says men shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the Word of God or the mouth of God and so we have to understand that that in as much as the physical food is very important it helps to nourish the body the spiritual food is most important because that is where everything lies because that is what gives life the real life that we are living it comes from the spiritual so when you fast life comes or flows from the spirit to your natural body healing flows from the spirit to your natural body so a man that fast is going to receive his healing very fast and there are some things that are planted in our bodies that when we fast the power of God is going to move so powerfully and it's going to take away those things from our bodies there are times sickness will be comfortable dwelling on the inside of you but when you fast and you stir up the power of God it's going to take away those diseases infirmities affliction fasting is very very powerful when it comes to our healing when you fast you are activating the power of God on the inside of you remember what the word says out of your bellies shall flow rivers of living waters rivers of living waters it doesn't just talk about this natural waters that we take in no it has to do with the spirit man on the inside of you and so that is what provokes or produce the the life it says living waters living waters so that is what gives life to your natural body fasting is very powerful when it comes to that number seven fasting brings deliverance deliverance like we already read in Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6 and 7 it brings deliverance so if you want to be delivered you want to be set free go to God in prayers this time does not go except by fasting and praying says our master Jesus so we have to know that and when it comes to guidance I remember there was a time the apostles saw the face of the Lord and the Lord spoke to them as well just so 
that you can know is very important so fasting brings deliverance man of god woman of god each time you feel like you are bound or you are in a dark position you need god to meet you you need god to touch you go to him in prayer and in fasting now if you are having any of these issues i've mentioned through this video then the lord is saying to you it is time to fast go on and begin to fast and fasting also brings about change and transformation in our lives in our destinies so this is a time god is calling you to fast especially this month and these are the reasons why you should do so and many more reasons fasting also provokes the favor of god like we saw in the life of esther if you want to be favored go on and begin to fast please join us as we fast this month of may we are going to start tomorrow i don't know when you're going to be listening to this video but you can still take it upon yourself even after to fast along with all us hallelujah fast and pray with us and i believe god is gonna bless you and reward you amazingly in jesus name increase is gonna be yours blessings breakthroughs miracles and most importantly your relationship with the father is gonna grow because fasting promotes growth hallelujah thank you all so much god bless you if this was a blessing to you don't forget to like it share as well and don't forget to subscribe i do love you so much family i am always grateful to you and to god for bringing you here and i hope to see you shortly by his special grace